could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Welcome! Today we are going to review two different sets of ergonomic crochet hooks. I am a huge fan of ergonomic hooks. I feel like they are vitally important for the work we do with our hands and I hope you enjoy learning about them with me today. The hooks in this video were provided to me by We Crochet. I am an affiliate with them. They are fantastic. I really hope you take some time to go check out all the different varieties of ergonomic hooks they have in stock. They are often very affordable. This first one is the interchangeable hook set from the Hook Nook. It comes in a beautiful carrying case. I did find the packaging hard to open. However, I find all packaging hard to open. That's a personal failing more than anything else. I was happy with the smoothness of the zipper. It didn't catch, it didn't pull, and when it was closed, I felt like it wouldn't snag on a project if you kept this close to your yarn in a project bag. Overall, the case is very beautiful and very efficient. Each of the six hooks comes with the size engraved along the base of the hook. It can be a little hard to see, but they are very clearly there. It might be convenient if your eyes struggle to focus on the engraving to just rub some black paint across it so that it will fill in the grooves and then clean off the excess so you'll be able to see all of the hook sizes easier. Each one is engraved with the sizes in the letter, number, and millimeter sizing. I found no noticeable burrs in the hooks, on the metal of the hooks, although I did feel like they were not quite as smooth as I generally prefer. I think they will work very well with acrylic style yarns. The thing I liked the least about this set was how incredibly difficult it was to get the pieces out of the case. I struggled so much to get each individual piece out of the case. However, I did find that once I finally got them free, they came in and out of the case much easier. It wasn't as much of a struggle to take them out the second time, just the first time. Assembling it was super easy. I had no trouble at all getting the top of the hook onto the handle. It was super smooth. They screwed on quite well and I did not have trouble with it coming loose while I was working. I worked up a swatch using the We Crochet Mighty Stitch yarn. I had a little bit of this in my stash from my Xenia blanket. Uh, if you haven't seen that, it's a gorgeous corner to corner blanket pattern. So I found the yarn moved very smoothly over the hook, though at first not as well as I would like. The handle itself was very comfortable, very reminiscent of the Furls Crochet hook handle, although it's less of a dramatic change in width. You'll notice that the overall the handle width is much less of a change. So it is very comfortable and very easy to use. I had to make sure that the pieces were gonna come in and out smoothly, and they really did. Once you got them out the first time, it was no trouble getting them in and out again. Earlier I mentioned that I didn't feel like the hooks went as smoothly through the yarn as I generally prefer. I found that once I oiled them up, rubbed a little bit of, maybe there was some dust from manufacturing still on them or something, but once I rubbed them between my fingers, I found that they worked much, much better. In fact, you can do this with any hook. If you have a hook that's squeaky or a hook that is dragging a little bit, you can run it through your hands or some people say run it through your, hand, your hair and it gets a little bit of your body oil on the hook and it makes it just glide through your yarn. Mm. 
Next up today we have the Clover Armor Steel Crochet Hook Set. A steel crochet hook set specifically is made for working with fine lace weight yarns, usually mercerized cotton. Steel crochet hooks are not actually made from steel anymore, but they were when they were first manufactured in the 1840s. In fact, they were made from the same steel wire that was used to make sewing needles. Instead of creating a full eye for the sewing needle, they would leave part of it off so it formed a hook. And we still call them steel crochet hooks. This set from Clover comes with ergonomic handles and these lovely little needle covers or hook covers to protect those tiny little hooks from getting damaged while you store them. Each of these tiny hooks comes with the size engraved in the handle, so it's easy to know which one you need to grab. They're also color coded. If you have a great memory, you can remember which color is which size. I will not be doing that because I cannot remember. The covers are so handy. I love that they will protect my steel hooks forever. To be fair, I do still have some steel hooks that were my grandmother's and that do not have covers and are in great shape. However, they are not quite as tiny as some in this set. These hooks just flew through the yarn in the smoothest, best way possible. I do not have a set of traditional size clover armor hooks, but now I think I need them. These hooks truly are top-notch quality. Let's grab a quick cup of coffee before we keep going. I don't have a lot more to show you, but coffee is a must. Yes, I did put an egg in my coffee. It makes it so rich and creamy, and the hot coffee does cook the egg yolk, so it's not a problem with raw eggs. I highly recommend trying this. Uh, the recipe, the full recipe is in the fall issue of the Crochet Foundry magazine. All of the things I've shown you in this video are linked below. I hope you go check it out. Of course, no hook review video is complete without telling you a great solution for hook storage. I bought a giant pencil case on Amazon. I will link it below. It has been the best thing I've ever done for storing my hooks. I have used mugs, I have used jars, I have used stands, but this keeps all of my sets neat and organized. I think you can fit up to a hundred hooks in here. I don't know who has 100 hooks, but if you do, this is the thing for you and it comes in so many different colors. I'm trying really hard to make sure we have new videos every week, so I hope you like and subscribe. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next week with some more relaxing crochet goodness.